Ordering boys to have short hair and suspending one who did not cut his hair, these folks are from the 1950s worthless staff and management getting sued over it now. October 23, 2021. If the board members do not believe in science, you can only imagine the type of education the district offers to its students. They are not requiring students to wear masks during a pandemic. March 9, 2021. I personally am in Magnolia West High School and have been in JL Lyons Elementary School. While it is a very small school district, the way the budget is split up often makes me raise an eyebrow, such as the lack of funding for the choir and such. Lyons had big problems with accidentally segregating their students. There is not anything done to get the students who are white and the students who are not get to integrate. They also put me and all others with learning disabilities in one class, meaning that most people did not get the attention they deserve. Because we are still in Texas, there are many comments that can be seen as homophobic and racist. There is a large wealth gap between the two high schools. On the positive side of this, both high schools receive equal funding. And there is a friendly rivalry, but no preference is shown between schools. On the downside, the academics are very behind most other schools. January 26, 2021. April 30, 2013. School has bullying issues that they don't resolve. Brush it under the rug and pretend nothing happened. August 31, 2012. Last year was the worst year ever. The principal needs to go. I'm glad I moved my child. This school effectively supports students with learning differences. There is a reason their average of students with disabilities is lower than the state. They used every trick in the book to stop the testing process from being pursued, including making a parent doubt their own perceptions and giving the student different work to keep their grades passing. After moving on to the next school, discovered child had a severe learning disorder and couldn't actually keep up with their classmates. This is how high school dropouts are made. September 19th, 2018. Completely awful. This school has been a nightmare since the first grade when they very much tried to tell me to put my child on medication. My son loves his school and has consistently begged me to keep him enrolled there so I have tried really hard to make it work for his sake but these administrators have no idea how to handle a child. That is not a little sheep. They have no idea how to handle a child who has a hard time sitting still for long periods of time. Their answer is medication so clearly they have not done any research on the effects that have been found on medicating children with drugs that are equal to methamphetamine. Do not take your child here unless he or she is perfect and can sit in the classroom perfectly and never challenge authority or stick up for themselves. This school is awful. It also smells horrible and I have seen cockroaches in the hallways and lunchroom but they must be too busy making sure the children are conforming to notice. This school has an effective approach to homework. They send no homework home at all. Teachers at this school are effective. By the second week of school, my son's teacher, who he was very excited to get, was already so frustrated with him she used words like horrible and terrible to describe his high energy level. She has not reached out to me at all besides talking to me in the lunchroom. To learn that there has been several instances of disruptive behavior came news to me after the principal and assistant principal informed me it was my job to contact the teacher every day to ask if he has had a good day or not. What? Since when is that a thing and why has no one ever said this to me? Every other year if there was a problem the teacher would always reach out to me either in form of writing, phone calls or emailing. Not this year. Felinski and Boyd have given up on my son and the first thing they do is send him to ISS. This school develops strong character in its students, like integrity, compassion and respect. This school has made my child out to be the bad kid. He has come home repeatedly already this year saying things like, I am too stupid to be good. I don't want to go to school because I am scared of being bad and getting in trouble. No one else gets in trouble only me because I am bad and stupid. No this school does not develop character. This school attacks character in anyone who is different than their normal students. This school effectively supports students with learning differences. They expect everyone to learn the same way. 
They make absolutely no accommodations for those who need to learn material in a different way. Each child is different. You should try less to create little sheep who follow everything an authority figure says them and create more little minds who think for themselves and are encouraged for their differences not bullied about them. This school effectively deals with bullying. No they do not. Falinski and Boyd are the biggest bullies at the school and they are the principal and the assistant principal. The few times my son has reported being bullied he has always been blamed for instigated it. It is never ever anyone else's fault besides my child. They don't give homework and set test days. The teachers just seem to be there for employment. My son went from honor roll to F's. In today's political climate they assigned an assignment called plantation. Glorifying slavery. Mrs. Felinski tries to sweep everything under the rug to avoid confrontation. Absolutely not. My son has a DHD and was in the office for every little thing. Same condition new school and he's thriving. They make up stories about bullying to try to get rid of students who they consider a bully. January 26, 2012. What I experienced at Elliser Elementary were a lot of politics and red tape, and a lack of genuine concern for the children. The principal is rude and condescending, he likes to talk down to the parents, and the staff is unfriendly. One would expect a more caring attitude from individuals serving in the teaching profession, not to mention more professionalism when interacting with parents. My child's teacher lacks seal and interest in the children, from my point of view anyway, and I am a former teacher, I should know, so I pulled my child out of this school where he was falling behind and now he is soaring in his learning, I would not recommend this school to anyone. The administration needs to be cleaned out and replaced with qualified leadership at this school. No, this school is very sideways. There needs to be new people in the office. The principal never gets back to you unless you call the admin building for Todd Stevens. My daughter has a learning disability and they brought in the diagnostician to let me know she is just dyslexic. I requested they test her again and they suggested to push my daughter to take action of her own learning. My daughter was made fun of because she is very shy and wears thick glasses because of her eyesight. Nothing was done. December 9th, 2014 I am very upset with this school. My son has been bullied, hit, kicked, punched in the stomach, and called racist names. When he told the teachers they told him. Ignore him. I sent emails to the principal that were never answered. I sent emails to the teachers and out of three teachers only one responded, making sure I had a paper trail. The teacher made the kid apologize, but that lasted for one day. The kid started back up on my son. We recently moved to this area so that my son would not be in an inner city school, but it was all for nothing. I am now having to not work so that I can homeschool my child. I also know of many parents who have done the same from Williams. One parent had a child being bullied by the same boy bullying my son. The child that has been bullying our children needs to be removed from the school. I am worried that since our children aren't there for him to pick on that he will start hurting another child. This school needs to get rid of all the administration and find new people who will come in and handle things differently. Do not put your child in this school. August 4th, 2012. I am very upset and disappointed with this school. It has been ranked one of the lowest in town and it not difficult to see why. In my child's previous school he was recommended for gifted and talented. But when we transferred to this school I was informed by his teacher that she doesn't he participate in that program. Now after being there for two years my child is actually behind. We are transferring schools and I hired a tutor to catch him up to the kids in his new school. The office staff is very unorganized. Several times I received wrong or late information. I missed an awards ceremony because the letter I received had the wrong date. I paid for a field trip that ended up being cancelled and never received my money back. The reason for the cancellation was that second grade wasn't he permitted field trips, only first, third, and fifth. I would think that this information should have been known by the teachers from the beginning instead of talking about the trip all year then cancelling it one week prior. I am so glad to be rid of this school and look forward to moving forward with my son's education from a more reliable source.
October 21st, 2014. Magnolia Parkway Elementary School is my son and daughter's school. So far this year, hopes are not high. On the third day of school, my fourth grade son was offered to buy crack from a fifth grader on the back of his school bus on the way home, and when he said no, the kid threatened to knife him if he told anyone. We reported it to the school and the punishment was two days off the bus. Needless to say, my kids don't ride the bus anymore, so end result is we got punished. The assistant principal called us to say they found the drugs on the boy the next morning. Then two days later, we went to the police due to lack of response from the school and they told us that the school had found regular table salt in a completely different container. Weird, we thought. I found crack online and my son said that was it. After getting enrolled at Magnolia Parkway, they have forgotten more than they have been taught. In fact, they spent the first nine weeks of 28 reviewing the previous year. Since my mother has passed away, we have had more time to teach our kids and are nearing the place where they once were. This will be the last year at a public school, especially Magnolia Parkway Elementary School. Beware. October 9th, 2010. Standards in Texas are low. Magnolia is even lower. They teach the tax. All they care about is their rating. Not if the children are safe or if they learn anything. Even by the low standards in Texas, Magnolia is awful. We pulled our child out after three years and will sell our home and move due to the school district. They don't address bullying in and I had the staff apologize to a child after he was removed from a situation where he was creating a danger to other children. This is one of the saddest examples of a school I've ever seen. If the staff spend as much time on the children as they do on the clothes they are wearing to school, flip-flops, low-cut, short skirt, tacky, very sad leadership. May 31st, 2015. When my child was there, he has special needs. The teachers as well as the principal were very mean and ugly to him. I had to bring the school board in over the mistreatment of my child. The mistreatment of special needs children is appalling. The way they treat special needs children is appalling. They don't go by the IEP guidelines. They do as they want to these children. If this is a great school, why did I have to go up the chain of command to pull my child out and move him to a new school that treated special needs children better and had certified special needs teachers? December 11th, 2014. If I could put zero stars I would too much fighting and bullying and the principal will not do anything about it. August 25th, 2023. I absolutely dislike this school. The math teaching makes no sense at all. They give us the papers on like the third day of school to complete but don't teach us how to do it. After that if we get it wrong they explain to us but not well. I'm not someone who's dumb I'm good at listening and understanding but this is a no for me. February 27th, 2023. This is school is a horrible school. This school had made my daughter depressed. If I could rate this a minus 10 I would. She even had to start going to therapy. I don't even have words to describe this school. They have horrible teachers and they don't teach the kids enough about bullying. It's sad and I don't want other kids to end up in this school. I don't recommend going to this school. March 2nd, 2015. Hate this school. The principal is a manipulator and only cares about the kids in pre-AP classes. This school is terrible. February 15th, 2022. Horrible school. Kids get bullied for being different and if they stand up for themselves and get jumped and protect themselves, they get sent to an alternative school when they have never been in trouble before and have good grades and are in advanced classes. March 5, 2017, recently went there for a varsity baseball game. Magnolia's team kept racially harassing the other team and their coaches did not do anything to control the situation. Parents, please reconsider the learning environment you are sending your children to. Staff, please control your students. My deepest sympathies go to the Sharks for their horrible experience at your campus.